Hi friends, Pam here. I'm in the kitchen because I'm going to do some experiments. This book is called National Geographic Kids, you know I love Nat Geo, Edible Science, Experiments You Can Eat. Now, I've always found it interesting that uh, people rarely use the kitchen for science projects when the cooking is nothing but science, right? So, I want to share with you a really simple experiment. It's called, Let's, let's Watch How Emulsifiers Work, okay? And what you're going to see is disappearing gum. So, here I have chocolate. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, I'm supposed to put the gum in first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the gum is supposed to disappear in my mouth because chocolate makes the gum disappear. What you should know is that chocolate gum is really kind of gross. Mm. Mm. And it's also weird that the gum is disappearing, so mm. Mm. that was delicious. Okay, moving on. Another fun book I have for you is called Brain Games. I still have the chocolate favorite gum. <laughs> Brain Games. And it's a great book teaching you how to use your, your brain. And look, Hank's in it. Anyway, you ever wonder why your brain works or how it works? Could the Rubik's Cube be good for your life? Of course it could be. It helps you think. It helps you use your brain all over again and all the parts of your brain. And look, why is an apple red? What if an apple were blue? Did you know blue is everyone's favorite color? So, anything you ever wanted to know about your brain is in here. Let's look at the back. Look at these pictures. Look at them. Okay? Now, don't look at them again. How many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Can you recall any of them? Hmm. One of them was a puppy. One of them was a T-Rex. Am I right? That's your brain in action. Get this brain games from Nat Geo and Edible Science. Learn how cooking is science. <laughs>